we are a couple hundred dollars richer, and it has something to do with these lawn sprinklers. Let me tell you about it. These sprinklers are being controlled by the Imalaza sprinkler controller. I've now had my hands on this uh, controller for two months. Be sure to stick around to the end uh, because I purposefully did a long-term review on this so that uh, you could see the difference over a two-month period that it's uh, made to my water bill. And uh, I'm gonna be showing you those numbers at the end. As you can see, the uh, lawn here uh, is doing great. Insert here, I'm a lawn and sprinkler snob. I love a green lawn. I like being in control of my irrigation. So I was a little skeptical of this smart controller uh, just because I like to have control over what my sprinklers do. All of the other smart timers that uh, I've had some experience with have uh, not brought the features to the table. And I was very upfront with him, Alaza, when they reached out and uh, told them I was pretty uh, skeptical about it. In fact, uh, I uh, nearly passed on the opportunity. They persisted and I'm glad they did. This review has taken over two months of time to put together for you guys because I wanted to bring real data to you and uh, have it uh, run over the course of uh, some time so that we could see the impact it made to the water bill. If stuff like that you feel is beneficial to you, uh, please give us a like and consider subscribing. You don't have to right this uh, moment if uh, you want to wait until the end, uh, but uh, just a reminder to uh, consider doing that here at the beginning. One of the things that uh, Imalaza claims is their accuracy with weather stations. That's been my big gripe with smart controllers. Neighbors of mine who have installed uh, other smart controllers, their weather data that it uh, gathers is way downtown at the airport, uh, a couple miles away. We have a widespread um, storm system come through, uh, then that's generally fairly accurate to, as far as rain and stuff. But uh, here uh, in Utah, where I live, during the summer months, uh, we don't have very many widespread storm events. Usually it's just pop-up thunderstorms here and there. And so what will happen is there will be a thunderstorm event out uh, near the airport, for example, and it will trigger on the rain gauge out there that uh, there's measurable rainfall and shut everyone's sprinklers down due to rain. Well, that's the case out there, but thunderstorms are very localized. And so there might not be a drop of rain that uh, fell out in this area. And so your sprinklers go on delay, but it's as dry and as hot as ever uh, because the thunderstorm completely missed you. And that's been my issue uh, with uh, the sprinklers. And so your lawn goes into, your sprinklers go into big delay and it's still hot. And so then it gets even more heat stressed and then you need more water to put on it, put down on it to bring it back from being heat stressed. And anyway, it's just kind of a vicious cycle. And so I prefer to manage it on my own until now. Imalaza has many, many more points of data gathering. One of them is really, really close to where I live compared to the general one that all the other smart timers uh, use. And so it is much more precise with its weather gathering data. And so it knows exactly if we've received rain here in my local area or not, what the wind speeds are here in my local area and things like that, temperatures, etc. And that has been the secret sauce to making me actually enjoy and like this particular smart controller. So let me show you the installation process I went through. Let me show you a little bit about the app. And then at the end here, I'm gonna show you the results to the water bill. Let's unbox this Imolaza smart sprinkler controller. Right off the bat here, we've got uh, some documentation, mounting template. There's the uh, smart controller itself. Got some mounting hardware, got the power adapter, a little screwdriver included. And that's everything. Yeah, I'm just in the process of unhooking my existing sprinkler timer. I love that uh, Malaz supplies these nice stickers so you can label each wire very easily. And what I'm doing, I'm just taking one wire off at a time, labeling it, and then I'm just putting it in to the timer. I'm gonna test to make sure this all works, and then I'll figure out the mounting. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna transfer it straight across. The timer is upside down, so just bear that in mind. There we go, super easy, super slick. Just uh, take one at a time off each one and uh, transfer them over, very, very slick. The app is incredibly easy to set up. Just scan the QR code and it takes you to the app store. Just download it 
and uh, it's very easy to just to set up a quick account and you're up and running. So we'll just add the controller here and it will want to find the controller via Bluetooth at first. So we just uh, make sure our lights are on, all systems are go, we click next. There's the controller right there. So we're going to click on that and uh, we can actually change the name of the device, uh, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to call it uh, Imalaza for now. And then we connect to the Wi-Fi. Once you're connected, it will load the device in very fast, very easy. And uh, then you've got to put in your location. So just uh, follow the instructions on putting in your location. Very easy to do. And here is the weather station that is closest to my house. Look at that. Uh, just barely over half a mile away. That's so great. I'm going to go with that. And now we're going to set up the zones. So we just uh, go through systematically zone by zone and it's very self-explanatory so you can change the name of the zone to begin with and uh, then you can go through you can take a picture of where that zone waters ask you questions about what this zone is watering and uh, so in this case zone one uh, is annuals so let's find that there we go ask what kind of head is there spray head is what we've got and then what kind of soil type here where i live we have very silty clay, so that's what we're going to go with. How much sunlight does this zone get? In my case, for zone one, it gets some shade, four to six hours of sun approximately. So let's go with that. What kind of slope? We've got flat here. And then here you can get uh, into the nitty gritties and figure out your square footage. This setting is interesting, the allowed de depletion. Uh, I think it's uh, very cool because it's really getting into the nitty gritties as far as uh, soil moisture content. You can do some research on particular plants that uh, are in your different zones to figure out what tolerances they have for soil moisture depletion. So for this zone, we're going to leave it uh, at 50%. And there we go. Zone one is set up. Now let's pretend that uh, you made an error and you need to go back into it. That's fine. You can go back into the zone and uh, you can easily edit all of those parameters and adjust it as needed. There's a very specific advanced parameter section here where you can dial in, you know, your root depth and an actual application rate of your sprinklers. So maybe you set out some tuna cans or some measuring cups to find out your precipitation rate, moisture level in the soil, and again, uh, your square footage. Go to the schedule section, we can create a schedule. And again, the app just walks you through it. You can do a new grass schedule. You can do a fixed schedule where you control it yourself. And then you can do the smart schedule. And so you have full control over your scheduling and everything, which I think is super cool. For now, we're going to go with the smart schedule. We're going to go ahead and select all the zones. And we're going to just use the default watering uh, parameters and times. So we're just going to stick with that. Do we cycle and soak? Um, yes, let's cycle and soak. And then here we get to include if it skips the rain, which is good, freeze skip, and you can even adjust what temperature that triggers at, and wind skip. I don't get very much wind where I live, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, we'll do any days that it wants to, and it doesn't matter when it starts or ends, and we're gonna go with the recommended settings of ending the sprinklers before sunrise. Other than that, it's got free rain. We'll just uh, name the schedule test. And the schedule's done. It's that easy. Two and a half months later, and I just want to insert here one thing that uh, I could see improvement on in the app is to be able to have a way to switch between maybe a basic mode and an advanced mode. So for me personally, I absolutely love how much you know information and how many things I can control about this app. I love being able to, you know, drill down into the details and type in, you know, square footages and just manipulate things. And it's so fun because this app allows you to do that. Contrast that though with when I loaded this app onto my parents' phone. I installed this controller at their house and they were a little bit lost. Uh, they said there was a lot of things. They didn't know exactly where to click and uh, what did what and uh, different things. And so maybe if there was a way to toggle between uh, just a basic mode where, you know, you have like manual water. Which zones do you want to water? How long? And schedules. You know, that's like it, right? <laughs> no big calendars and uh, no, you know, all this moisture content level stuff and 
square footage and this, that, and the other that uh, causes them grief. Or, you know, in this case, if I want to do a quick run, it comes up and it says, you know, restart the previous one. And then they have to do a quick new quick run to then, you know, refresh that. And anyway, it just seems confusing to them in certain scenarios. And so maybe if there was a, an advanced version for power users like me that love that kind of thing, and then maybe a, a simplified version of the interface of the app with a few less bells and whistles and details, uh, that might be helpful to some people out there. We've got all set up. Let's uh, try running and see what happens. Got these sprinklers out here running. And now if we tap uh, the skip button, it should go to the next station. Let's try the uh, garden. So we can come over here and we can just do a quick, quick run here. And uh, we're gonna just do the garden zone. Five minutes is great. And we'll hit play. Well, there it goes. The big moment uh, you've all been waiting for. Here's the water bill comparison uh, between the two years. I ran at the full months of August 2024 and September 2024. So by comparison, August 2023, the water bill was $484.69. In August of 2024, it uh, was $252.11. So that was a difference of about 48%. And then September, likewise, was uh, in the low 400s in 2023. And in 2024, we were 191.23. So 54% less. We did have a little bit more rain in September than we did in August. So I think uh, we got a little bit more uh, delays uh, in there. I was blown away. I did not expect it to be this good and still keep the grass uh, alive and happy and well. Very impressive performance. Love the impact that uh, it made to the water bill. I'm officially sold. I am loving the controller. Uh, Emma Laza really thought things through. I love the in-depth customization I have. Like I said, that could be an issue for some of you who wants a more of a simplistic easy to run, easy to interface with controller. Personally, this is just the ticket and I love how much more precise the weather location and we weather data is gathered for this. That's, that's the game changer for this timer that uh, the others uh, just don't have. But I wanna hear now from you. Leave your comments down below what you think of this smart sprinkler controller. Is this something you would consider putting in at your house now that uh, you've seen its performance here? And comment any experience you've had. Maybe you already have one of these. How has it worked for you? Have you seen similar performance as far as the positive impact it's made to your water bill while still keeping your lawn looking really good? As you can tell, this uh, kind of review is not just your normal review. This uh, spanned over two and a half months of time. We want to bring you real value. So if you appreciate that, uh, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Completely free to you, really benefits the channel out and gives me the motivation to uh, bring these projects to you that take significantly more time than uh, what most people uh, would want to spend uh, doing. And we'll catch y'all next time.